guys welcome once again to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys um how to start a native file farming so behind me here is where i'm running my native file i told you that they are not much most of them uh i thought also this told you in my that and uh, most of them are not actually here most of them are in this um, our corner of our house they normally stay still because they are birds that love any position and the stadium so before going straight to the video like the video subscribe and share the video so without a chance let's dive in like um most of my videos that i used to upload on youtube about the hatching of their eggs I normally used to um, say some words that there are birds that love to stay in different position. So I'll be talking about two ways you can start your native owl farm: the easiest and the hardest. The easiest provides little capacity, little income, while the hardest provides lots of income. So the easiest. Let me go straight to the easiest one. The easiest one is the one that has um, this method, like a free range. Uh, sorry, that's the hard one. The easiest is like when you're sitting, I can just construct any cage, even any position that is cool, warm, they can stay there and lay eggs. They can grow through there, their population can spread through there. Okay, so that's the easiest one. So, the easiest one is that you can start with just one particular bird after a year you will make money from that one particular bird maybe you may make a little capacity so but for when you go for the hardest you see a lot which is a commercial scale i'm talking about the commercial scale and the small scale which is the hardest is the commercial scale why the easiest is the small scale farming for native fowl okay so when you go for the commercial one like the one i just explained uh, so uh, the easiest one like one just to do you can start with just one particular bird and it will be easy to grow from that one particular bird so um the this one you can do because native power are farming that works in the environment to find their own varieties of food that feed on different kind of food okay on the on the ground they, they need to scratch the ground and get some incense mangoes and other uh warm so that they can get their good nutrients so they don't go fast more than the commercial one so the the commercial one has this ability like um move it to the commercial one now the commercial one is one like when the beds are in um in a in a free range or in a greenhouse construction what we by free range we're simply talking about um free range we're simply talking about where all grasses vegetation can grow so and the true vegetation the ground the shade will be covered with net so that things like cats snakes and hour which is our simply means those birds that move in the sky that moves in the sky so you can see close to me that's when my bed is laying our heads so we'll be still be putting video about the action of this egg okay so they move straight to place uh our what i'm simply talking about how there are birds that fly in the sky that has this ability to come ground and pick it just look like eagle so if you can't call it our you can simply call it eagle okay so that's what free range your commercial one you must have nets that used to cover it and you must have uh grasses vegetation varieties like this my local cage we seen on my back here you can put like three so that it can be stained and make sure you have like an acres of land to start that kind of farming but for this small skill you can just start that in your backyard with just one bed but what that's the one bird is that after it has hatched like cats many things like one of uh, the ten of my own that was hatched in this particular cage was actually killed by cats which is the last week and 
when you have this method please try you must make sure all your kids are secure with good uh construction so that the hour the bed our cat snakes cannot get access to the bed in the cage so this one you may have low, low cost because you start with just one particular bird and you may have low cost why we have low cost is that um they feed on different feed number one and when our beds or cats uh, sorry not beds cats get them you lose your interest so that's the hardest method ever but it's a risky thing maybe some may survive some may not survive but for that fringe all must survive the only thing that can kill those beds is disease that can kill those beds but for the small scale you can now uh, since like disease our snail and cats can easily kill them those four things are the complaint when it comes to small scale in native fowl farming but when it comes to our uh, the commercial scale is only disease so you may not be afraid for that okay so net as we cover it even this um free range i'm talking about which is the uh greenhouse is actually mostly used for guinea fowl ass and snails house so those are the play best place to rear those kind of livestock like native fowl guinea fowl snails duck and other kind of uh, animals okay so you won't be you may be asking which one will i love to go for and those two particular one go for the um free range one okay uh, okay so which is i'm talking about the commercial one if you have a lot of money but if you don't have a lot of money that you don't have a big compound and you just want to be using your backyard just go for the um small skill but you may be careful for the cats the snakes so that they won't get access to the cage because there are beds that move around they have around that scratch the ground to get lots of things so you may be careful maybe before then evening time you may quickly take the hint because of cats cats normally come out around seven o'clock so you, they take them in quickly before the cat will get access to them so those are what to consider when it comes to the reign of native fowl farm so we'll be dropping another video for this native fowl farming another explanation that will be much very very better that will tell you the cost everything to go for so god bless you so much for watching the video remember bless guys I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, this is all agriculture from. We have our social media platform, our platform on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We just new open TikTok account, so you can go there and search on us on TikTok or agriculture from, or to my bio on my YouTube channel. Every one of our platform is there. So on WhatsApp, we also teach people more things on WhatsApp. So go there and also share. And also get some more information so before we cut the video like subscribe and share that's the last thing I can only say God bless you guys see you guys in more video coming bye